So many of you are probably wondering at this point how things have been going the last few weeks. Is it still a good time to be a pilot? And am I gonna have a job? Well, a little bit of update for all of you that watch our videos. Uh, currently, we are in South America. I'm standing on the Celebrity Eclipse right now, a cruise ship, and we are quarantined, basically stuck off the coast of Chile right now. So yes, things are a little bit abnormal in the world as we all experienced the last few weeks here, or really the last week or so, really. Uh, currently, uh, we've been circling, and we are waiting for food and fuel to come to our boat so that we can hopefully get to some place that will allow us to dock because Chile has closed their borders. Now, among other things, Delta, American, United, well, they're parking airplanes, they're sending pilots home, they're asking pilots to take a voluntary leave of absence, and you might be thinking, if you're in flight training right now, oh crap, this looks like a lot like 2001 and 2008, and now would be a good time to think about a career change. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's really not the case. Things don't look real good right now for aviation or really any segment of the economy. And I understand that and it's kind of scary and uncomfortable. It's also a little bit uncomfortable and a little scary being stuck on a big cruise ship, not really knowing what port is going to allow you to enter into a country. All that aside, yes, right now for the next few weeks, the next few months, things are not going to be great in aviation. Airlines are not going to be flying very full flights. They're going to be parking airplanes and pilots are going to be sent home and we're looking at potential furloughs. Luckily, our elected officials are working hard to make sure that doesn't happen. And hopefully through bailout packages and assistance, all the pilots will continue getting paid. Everyone in aviation will continue to have a job. But let's talk about what happens six months from now, a year from now, two years from now, and three years from now. Well, there's gonna be pilots taking voluntary retirements. There's going to be pilots that perhaps do choose to look at other career opportunities. And either way, no matter what, the clock is still ticking. There's going to be tens of thousands of forced retirements over the next 10 years at the major carriers within the United States. We have an aging population, especially in the pilot world. There's going to be a lot of pilot jobs and a lot of opportunities that arise six months from now, a year from now, two years from now, and three years from now. And although things are going to get a little rough here in the next few months, changing career paths right now, whether you're studying to be a pilot or a plumber or an electrician, a doctor or a lawyer, this is not the time to start thinking about drastic career changes or abandoning your studies, all right? we will experience one of the greatest recoveries and one of the greatest expansions and booms, especially in the aviation sector, well, not too far away in a year or two or three as things come back. There are still a lot of airplanes out there that need to be flown. No one is going to be making any progress in research and development as far as pilotless airplanes or single pilot airplanes in the foreseeable future in the next few months. And once the airlines wake up and realize, oh man, we have a lot of passenger demand because guess what? Although this is a tough time, both financially and a little bit scary for our own physical health, the reality is most of us are not going to know anyone who dies from this disease. Most of us may not even know someone who gets this disease or this sickness, illness, all right? When this is all over, there are still going to be a lot of people that need to go to a lot of different places and aviation air travel is going to be one of the number one ways to do so. The world has not stopped turning. The sun is still going to rise tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. There, when this is all over, there are still going to be 7 billion people on our planet and they are going to need to go places. We still have plumbers and electricians and doctors and lawyers and all these people that make up our society and make up our economy. And although things seem to be a little bit on hold right now and things seem to be grinding to a screeching halt, this will end, this will pass in the relatively near future. And as we recover from that, there will be an explosion of growth, especially in the aviation sector. This is not a time to go home and shelter in place and sulk and stare at the clock and wait for the minutes and hours and days and weeks and months to tick by until things get better. This is a time for you to go home and embrace what our elected officials are telling us to give ourselves a little bit of distance between each other 
practice social distancing, practice good hygiene and hand washing, take care of our health, and most importantly, take advantage of this opportunity. Opportunities arise to all of us at different times. And if you don't take those opportunities, it may feel safe, it may feel comfortable, but I can guarantee you if you don't seize an opportunity, nothing will happen. You will achieve nothing. You will not advance yourself or better yourself in any way. We have an opportunity right now. We have an opportunity to take care of ourselves and our families, to spend time at home, and to study and enrich ourselves, to enrich our lives, to enhance our skills. You have an opportunity now to take those written exams that you've been meaning to, to study for those, to go online and study the immense amount of information on there, not just at flightmikealpha.com for aviation, but an immense amount of information on YouTube, on Udemy, on all these different websites and all these different mediums to download books, to enhance your skills, to enhance your knowledge, to take advantage of this time. And those of us who do take advantage, who do study, who do try to enrich ourselves, well, we will be the ones that come out of this ahead. And everyone else who sits at home and shelters in place and cries and sulks and stares at the clock waiting for the days and weeks and months to tick by, well, those will be the people who work for us at the end of all of this. This is an opportunity to better yourself. This is an opportunity to come out on top and take advantage of a slump and ride the upward wave that is inevitably to come here in the near future. What I want you to do at the end of this video, I want you to make a commitment that you will study, that you will work to achieve new things, that you will add to your resume, add to your skill set. This is a time where you could study online at flightmikealpha.com. Use our brand new CFI course to study for your FOI and your AGI and go take those two written exams and get a whole new certificate. That whole new certificate in your pocket can help you make money in the near future as an advanced ground instructor. It's a simple thing you can do in the course of a few weeks to have a whole new pilot rating in your pocket. We have a whole article on flyatmikealf.com of the cheapest pilot ratings you can get and the things that you can do to enhance yourself and possibly make a little bit of money and take advantage of this time. That link to that article is in the description below. But what I want you to do, what I, commitment I want you to make is that at the conclusion of this video, I want you to take a simple step to ensure that you will come out ahead of all of this, that these crazy weird times will pass and that you will be better for it. And the simple step I want you to take is to go at the end of this video and find a pen and a piece of paper. And I want you to write down three simple goals that you have for this coming week. And I want you to accomplish those goals in this coming week. They could be aviation goals or they could be simple goals to improve your own personal life or your family. These don't have to be grandiose, overachieving, crazy goals that you're going to go out and build bridges or skyscrapers, become a doctor or a lawyer, and you're going to become a doctor and miraculously cure COVID-19 all single-handedly. These can be simple goals that will help you move in the right direction, that will help us all continue moving in the right direction to take advantage of this opportunity to enhance ourselves, better ourselves, better our communities, and for us all, as citizens of the United States and as citizens of the world to move forward in the right direction. We will all be better for this as this passes, but it is imperative that all of us work during this time to work harder than ever before to improve ourselves, improve our families, and improve our communities. The device you're holding right now watching this video on is your key to success in all of this. You have access through that same device to an incredible wealth of knowledge on the internet and it is up to you to take advantage of that now. Take that pen and paper, write down three simple goals. Share them with us in the comments below. Share a little bit of inspiration for all of us during this time that, well, could use a little bit of good news. We could really use a little bit of food and fuel out here. I'm sure that's coming here soon. There's lots of people that are working hard to make that happen. There's lots of people working hard at home in the United States right now to make sure that all of us benefit the best way we can from this, that we are not harmed too much by it, and it's imperative on all of us to do our part, to stick to your initial goals, your initial plans. Do not give up flight training. Do not give up becoming a plumber, an electrician, a truck driver, whatever it is that you were trying to do last week or the week before. Continue with it and work harder at it, and you will be better for it. Share with us below your three simple goals for next week, and come back next week and reply to that same comment and let us know how you have achieved them. 
Every night from now until the next seven days, I want you to take your list of three simple goals and either cross one off that you have completed or write down next to it where you stand, what progress you've made today, and what progress you will make on it tomorrow to accomplish it. Through that, we will be able to achieve great things during this time and especially in the future, especially six months, a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, as we experience the greatest revival and explosion in the economy and in air travel and in aviation that any of us have ever seen before. As the captain of the ship that I'm currently stuck on says daily in his announcements to all of us, well, we're all in the same boat. Let's make the most of it. If you can't fly every day, fly at MikeAlpha.com. You can reach out to us 24 seven by email or telephone and let us and our staff at Fly at Mike Alpha know what we can do to help you during these times in aviation and more. We are all here in the same boat. Let's make the most of it. Maybe there's food and fuel coming. We should go check on that.